Welcome back to my garage. Here's the result after my first ever casting. And I would say it's a success and a failure at the same time. First of all, I never expected it to come out this good at all. I expected to see something uh, just barely resembling my uh, model. But this certainly looks a lot like what it was supposed to look like. There's uh, a bunch of flaws and uh, defects, but I think I um, I think I know what to do with them. I think I know what caused the problems and how I can uh, remedy them. So I'll um, I'll just take you through parts that are okay and parts that uh, have failed and tell you what I think can be done to fix them. Let's start with the bottom here. So actually the bottom half of the whole casting is fairly good. Surface finish is great. You can see all the print lines. There's really no problem with the, with the bottom of the casting except for the porosity you can see here and I think that's caused by the initial slug of uh, impurities going down with the aluminium and uh, ending up here in the bottom corner. But for the most part the bottom half of the casting is in uh, good condition, came out okay. What didn't turn out too good is the top half of the cylinder. You can see there's a lot of uh, porosity and uh, missing parts here and there. The biggest defect, the main issue with this casting though, is that the bridge between the A transfer and the exhaust port did not form fully and there's also a big hole below the exhaust port. Thanks to all the comments with uh, suggestions and tips and um, suggestions for videos to watch on casting. I think I know how to fix this stuff. So first up, the problem with half the bottom half being okay and the top half being uh, crap. I think that's down to my really short sprues or risers. They were supposed to be much higher, but I ran out of metal. Probably there wasn't enough pressure to fill in the thin sections. And also the top part here, probably. That's probably the main issue with this uh, whole thing here. Also, I think maybe some of these uh, weird uh, worm tracks and holes up here, and there's a lot of them under the uh, exhaust duct too, and also inside of the cylinder here, might be caused by gassing from that acrylic paint I used. Parts of it actually survived the molten metal and the same color was present after the casting when I broke the mold. So the main problem not enough head pressure. Second problem maybe some uh, gassing from um, the paint not being totally gone from the mold after burnout. S third problem, this thing. So I made this uh, flange with these channels for water to flow in and up against the uh, exhaust flange and around here and stuff and there's two thin sections here and two thin but wider sections on the top and the bottom. And I think these uh, thin sections caused uh, 
higher velocity in the metal stream and also a lot of turbulence when the metal was flowing up through the walls of the deck here and meeting up with the metal coming from the underside. And I think that's what caused the hole and all that porosity around this duct and around the exhaust. What caused the the walls between the A and the, the A transverse and the exhaust port not to form fully. So I'm going to fix this in Fusion, basically make this solid and just grind it out um, after it's cast. It's not a it's really easy to do. Don't know why I did this so complicated in the first place. Guess it's a fusion thing. I could do it, so I did. Stupid. I'm getting a larger crucible to be able to run much higher spruce and more pressure. I'm going to fix the model. I'm also going to order up some degassing tablets to get rid of hydrogen from the aluminium, molten aluminium, and also some flux. When I cast this, I didn't use any flux or degassing, and I think that's a good idea. The bore in the model was 40 millimeters, and here it's about 39.3 millimeters so that's about one maybe between one and two percent increase i'll have to check it on my calculator here 40 divided by 39.3 yeah 1.017 so 1.2 so i'll i'll scale the model to 102 percent before i print the the next one. That's it for now. I, I'm also going to do some uh, modifications to my uh, spruce and gating system. I'm going to incorporate uh, a porin basin. That's uh, after watching old Foundry Man's videos on, um, on casting. Great videos, check it out. Links in the description. Also, I'm going to make the I'm not going to have the main sprue part of the casting, but rather have it uh, end in a, a well, a bigger portion down here, and then gate it into the into the casting. This to contain the first slug of uh, impurities in that well, and then start feeding the casting. I was originally going to do that here too, for this one too, but I realized I did not have enough metal. Had I made that well, I probably would have come out even worse than what I did with this one. Okay, I'll show you all that stuff when um, when it's time to cast the, the second try. I am ordering the crucible and the flux as soon as I can afford to. That means in this week, as soon as I get my paycheck. And um, yeah, so next video will be casting the second try. See you next time.